Hydrocodone acetaminophen has a trade name of Norco. This is a medication very commonly given to post-op patients and to patients who are in the hospital and are experiencing pain. Therapeutic class is opioid analgesic, allergy, cold, and cough remedy, and antitussive. Pharmacologic class is opioid agonist and non-opioid analgesic combination. What is really helpful with these types of medications is that we can combine the hydrocodone with acetaminophen so we can thereby decrease the amount of the hydrocodone that we're giving and using the acetaminophen as kind of an adjunct to help with the pain while giving a lower dose of the uh, hydrocodone. So the reason we give it is management of moderate to severe pain and what it does is it alters our perception and reaction to pain by binding to opiate receptors in the CNS and it can also suppress the cough reflex. But really the reason we're going to give this is a lot of times for patients like post-op pain or general pain in the hospital and this will help to kind of decrease that pain perception for patients. A couple big things to keep in mind here is that these medications can cause hypotension, so we want to monitor hemodynamics and uh, respirations after administering, so we really want to be close to our patient after we give this medication, and we want to know what their blood pressure is and the respirations are before we even give it. What's their heart rate, blood pressure, respirations, and then we want to come back and make sure that we're watching that closely so that we don't depress the CNS too much to the point that they go into respiratory failure or they go into severe hypotension. Another thing to keep in mind here, we talked about this with uh, acetaminophen before, is that we don't want to exceed four grams of acetaminophen in a day. This can cause GI bleeding and it can be very bad for the liver, for the GI. So we really want to stay below four grams of acetaminophen daily. Usually uh, your medication, your computer, as you scan a patient and give them certain types of medications, it's going to kind of tally up how much acetaminophen we've given them and we'll make sure that we don't go over that four gram limit. Now for our opioids, you remember that our, our antidote for opioids is Narcan. So if a patient does go into respiratory failure or they, they stop being as arousable, we would give them Narcan to try to reverse the CNS depression and to wake them up and get them uh, alert again. So again, a medication you're going to see very often in your in your time in a hospital. The biggest things I want you to keep in mind here are the importance of monitoring CNS and the importance of monitoring that they don't get more than the four grams of the acetaminophen in a day. This has been another episode of the MedMaster Podcast by NRSNG.com. To get our free cheat sheet covering the 50 most commonly prescribed medications, head over to nrsng.com slash 50 meds. That's nrsng.com slash 50 meds. Thank you so much for joining me today, and thank you for being part of the NRSNG family. We're here to help you succeed in nursing school and in life. So start your journey today over at nrsng.com slash 50 meds. We're glad to have you aboard. You know what time it is now. It's time to go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing, y'all.